So I'm Tom Oliver, Professor of Applied Ecology here at the University of Reading. Um, my research focuses on understanding how land use and climate change interact to affect biodiversity and what that means for different ecosystem functions and services. This uh, PhD project is actually on a similar topic, so using long-term uh, monitoring data to understand how insect populations have changed and crucially what that means for different aspects of human uh, livelihoods and well-being. Actually, this is quite a topical uh, subject. You may have seen the Living Planet report in the news recently, uh, organised by the WWF, and that highlighted how vertebrate populations may have declined by about 60% globally. Um, however, we don't really understand uh, changes in insect populations, even though they're crucial for a range of different services like pollination, pest control. So this project is focusing on insects. Uh, one study in Germany actually found that flying insects have declined by about 75% uh, over a 27-year period. Whereas in the UK, uh, data on butterflies and moths have shown declines, but not as, as significant. So it's crucially important to really understand the extent of these insect population changes uh, across different uh, taxonomic groups, across different geographic regions, and also across different habitat types. So the project will focus on looking at terrestrial and freshwater insect populations. The uh, supervisor team comprise uh, Dr. David Roy, who's the lead supervisor. So he's the head of biological monitoring based at the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology. And that's in Wallingford, which is about 15 miles north of here, between Reading and Oxford. Uh, Professor Jeremy Thomas is based at Oxford University. And uh, Tim Johns is a um, researcher at the Environment Agency, also in Wallingford. Uh, so the supervisor team are very close by. We've worked together before, providing different aspects of expertise. So um, ecology and conservation expertise, uh, long-term uh, data analysis, uh, freshwater ecology. And so we're looking really for a student who can um, get really enthusiastic about this topic. It has big implications for, for example, um, science policy, the Convention for Biological Diversity, the Aichi targets are up to 2020. But they're looking to renew and, and revisit those targets. And the, the type of analysis we do in this PhD will be crucial in informing and setting those, those new targets. <clears throat> and understanding, providing some clarity on what biodiversity changes mean for, for human livelihoods. So, for example, analysing insect traits um, using functional ecology approaches and um, comparative phylogenetic approaches to, to understand what changes in insect populations might mean for different ecosystem functions. So we're looking for a student who's, uh, well, first of all, enthusiastic uh, about this area and, and ideally someone who's quite numerate and has a good background in quantitative analysis skills. Of course, this, a PhD is all about training. So um, there'll be training in, for example, analysing large data sets um, using uh, the statistical software R and, and database programmes. Uh, training in a long-term time series analysis, in comparative phylogenetic analysis, and also interacting with a range of stakeholders. So for example, uh, not just the data providers, but also people working at the science policy interface and informing, you know, creating a, a broader debate about what these, these results about biodiversity change mean for, for policy, but also broader societal um, action. So we're looking for someone uh, with, with some quantitative skills, but also with that broader outlook to really engage in that broader societal debate about biodiversity change. Um, to some of the technical details, the, the studentship has case support, that which means there's some additional financial support uh, for the studentship. That comes from the uh, Environment Agency, and they're also, of course, providing data on freshwater insects. Um, so yeah, looking forward to receiving applications.